How would have he caught the? Mm? How would have he caught the infection? Um, I don't know how long you've had him and how you've been managing him. What's the story there? I've had him about five years. Five years, right? And yeah, he's um, actually recently we we went to New Zealand and he was at my mum's place. Yes, does she have any other birds? No, but right. she thought maybe because she has the the doors open yes. to air the house, and she yes. thought maybe he caught a chill. That right. was the first thing she thought yeah. might have happened. Yeah, but not very likely, Diane. No. <laughs> um, what about visiting wild birds? Have you been in close proximity to any wild birds? No, we don't. No. We don't ever put the cage outside. Right. We have oh, the okay. balcony door open. And what's his diet normally? Um, seed. Yep. Um, we Fed this way? Yep. Yep. Okay. And he eats morning and afternoon and sort of right, throughout so the day. Yeah, we feed him this way. Yep. Yep. Okay, I'm setting you up for something. But I know. <laughs> you feel it beneath. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yeah. done. But we might as well establish what you do and then we can look at how you might do things differently. Better, yeah. Right, okay. Um, he eats um, bread sometimes. Yes. Yep. Um, he eats. Uh, apple. Yes. He loves his apple. Loves pear. Yes. Um, lettuce sometimes, although it's really hard to get good quality lettuce. Yep. In yep. the supermarket. Yes. Um, what yeah. else do we give him? Um, broccoli. Loves yes. Broccoli. Cucumber, isn't it? Uh, yeah, he used to have cucumber, but once I gave him cucumber a couple of years ago, and he had diarrhoea, so I stopped right. giving okay. it to him. Right. Yeah. Okay. Um, melon. Right. Okay. Melon. Oh, okay. He's scared of carrot. He scared won't, of carrot. He will okay. stand yeah. at the other side of the cage if I okay. give him carrot. Right. Okay. And just the cuttlefish and. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, um, I'm seeking an answer to why he's got this now, right? Um, first of all, we don't know what it is yet, but if I'm assuming it's either trike or or chlamydia, until proven otherwise, it could be uh, thyroid, um, but I don't know that yet. Um, malnutrition rates pretty highly over a period of time. So if his diet is inadequate, but not only a bit inadequate, it's going to take longer for a disease to develop than if it's acutely inadequate. Does that make sense? Yeah. And you're doing quite a few things that are good or beneficial and life supporting, and you're doing some things that or you're not doing some things that you could do better. Yep. All right, so first of all, we'll start with this container, <laughs> right? um, which is a pretty common container. It comes with most pet shops, uh, most uh, bird cages. And in here, I call these shopping trolleys <laughs> because they've got enough for a week in them. Yeah. Okay? And if he's like most little budgies, he'll go sweep, sweep, scatter, scatter, mess, mess, molly. Sweep, sweep, scatter, scatter, mess, mess, slowly. Mm -hmm. And from a, a variety of seed, that there might be six or eight types mm -hmm. of seed in there, he'll pick out his favourites most of the time. And then then if he has to, it'll fill up on the, on the remainder. And then you'll come along and either tip it out or blow it off and <laughs> run, yeah. run stir it around or whatever <laughs> and, 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 and um, give him a few more. Um, but the bottom line is that in nature he'd be eating 80 to 100 different types of seed a year, various times, and he'd be eating a wide range of insects. Yeah. Now, you're supplementing him <laughs> with some greens, which is probably help stave off this moment. Um, but then again, there is a slight chance that if you didn't wash the greens or you got contaminated greens, that you could have introduced a bug. And then there is also a possibility that we may find a coliform infection which could come from kissy kissy. <laughs> so if your saliva and his mouth come together, well then, which often happens, um, then sometimes we transfer bugs that way. So we'll be looking at all those things. All right, well we'll just bring that to a stop for a moment. Yeah.